Paul, that was an absolutely thrilling game of football and a, a gritty, permitted, hard-working and, and deserved win for your team. Well, it was a thrilling game of football. It, uh, it must have been watching it. It was, um, it was nerve-wracking managing and because all you're doing is you're asking your team to, to play one second after the next and keep to plan and be tough and get to the loose ball it's you know the the criticism I had of them in the first half is we we're trying to wait for the perfect bit of football and I mean just look at the conditions here you know it's like a surface watering place it's, um, it's slippery and sliding and the referees having to make erratic decisions because it's just frenetic and you, sometimes perfect won't come and you just have to get to the ball next and that's about the long and short of the tactics at half time was try to be the next player to the ball and luckily Dave Wheeler was next to the ball in the, in the, in the crucial you know, areas right in front of the goal and that's what it was about today. The players played with so much commitment to each other, to the team, the supporters supported them. It was just you know, 15 minutes to go or whatever it was, one all, the game's in the balance. They just played the next second and second after that and got to the ball next and lost some and won some and eventually you just the ball manages to go your way and go into the net and um, we defended our box really well we had players who weren't 100% fit yet I mean Troy Brown second game back Jordan Tilson had to come on I haven't played for a long long time and all round it was a, a terrific team effort and I'm delighted yeah so much heart from your team especially when Cheltenham got themselves back into it. They piled on a, a bit of pressure. Your team could have folded at that point, but it, it, it went the other way. You, you responded and, and then you know, got on top. Yes, um, and that's what I'm particularly pleased about. You know, we could easily, exactly as you said. I mean, I was worried about it. Of course, I'm, I'm concerned. I'm stood there. I'm seeing the same thing as you. They've come back into it. They're, they're down the hill. I mean, there's, a, there's a significant slope here, and they're down the hill. The ball's landing in our box, and the game, the game is literally in the balance. But you know, they. They changed their their shape and their tactics with their positions. Um, we then changed back to where we'd been at the start of the game. So having changed once our positions, they then changed theirs. Got a goal. We changed our positions back to where we'd been at the start and found the hot, found the spaces. Had our players in the in, in I suppose the right areas, and that's what it was about: being in the right place, being to the ball first, and um, the players kept with plan. Just they did, did what they had to do, and they didn't take any chance, nor did they crumble at the, uh, the equaliser, which is particularly pleasing. We've got a terrific group of players, we used the squad today, there's so many players in our, from our defence injured again today, to play against that kind of onslaught was particularly impressive, well done Troy Brown at the back, and, you know, he headed everything, and, you know, Wooden, Craig Woodman's playing like Beckenbauer, I mean it's just unbelievable at the moment, I don't know what's, kind of what's happened, but he's like Beckenbauer at the moment, and uh, I think he could have played with a broken arm. He was that good. <laughs> and, and, and Christy Pym was making saves. So I think all round it was, it was brilliant. Yeah, in particular for, for Pym. I mean, it's, it's one thing being an outfield player having to deal with these conditions, but he dealt with everything really expertly. Yeah, I mean, it was t I mean, you could just see from his kicking, his, his, his standing foot was moving. He was going to kick the ball, and he, he hit a couple of bad kicks. But you and, and their keeper did. You know, you, it's very difficult conditions. And sometimes, luckily, we got it out of our system early. You can't look to play perfect. You've just got to play the conditions and fight and battle. And there were some tough bodies in that, uh, tough and battered and bruised bodies in that dressing room, but we got what we needed. Yeah, you mentioned Troy Brown, only his second start since, since August. He, he got a bit of a, a negative res a reception from, from the home fans, and that just spurred him on. He was heading everything at one end, and, and he was absolutely determined to, to get on that header in the end for, for Wheeler's first goal. Yeah, well, I, I don't think it's a, a surprise. You, know, you come back to a, a former club of yours, that tends to happen, doesn't it? So I don't think, I don't think he was surprised by it. He, he, it was his type of game today, actually just up his street. I mean, literally, it was um, the type of game that he relishes. I mean, really, I mean, he probably feel that he could have done better for their goal somehow. If you're a defender and the ball bounces through the D like it did, he'd probably, he'd probably wonder whether he could have done better for that. But, he, you know, he was really, really good today. So, you know, we've had a good couple of months of form. You know, three, that's three results now on the bounce. We haven't, we've, we've played well at home recently and not got our, you know, Luton last um, week, a couple of weeks ago. We've been playing, I think, generally very very well and um, you know I'm just very very positive about the things that could happen over the next couple of months. Yeah perfect platform to, to kick on now were you worried about having the the two-week break whether or not that would interrupt any of the momentum that you're starting to pick up? It's a very valid point you, and you there's nothing you can do about it and it is what it is and yes it could be a negative but it could be a positive so you spin the positives that's what your job is as a manager nine times out of ten you manage the 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 tone and the 
the positivity of the group and we used the two weeks focused on one or two things we haven't done well enough and uh, I'd like to think we got our rewards from it today and uh, now we bounce on to Mansfield at home next Saturday with a, with a week of some recuperation, some recovery and other players coming back from injury and improving their fitness so hopefully we're getting stronger. Yes, well documented about the injury problems you've had this season, so many you've had to deal with, how much of a, a boost is it to see Jordan Tilson back in the, in the fold as well and Ryan Harley on the bench? Well Jordan just adds to you know, strength and depth, I mean we've, he can play at the back like he did today, he, he's, he's primarily thought of as a sort of defensive midfield player for us now but you know we, we went to today's game again with two players having missed out from the last couple of games, the Pierce Sweeney and Jordan or Taylor, Pierce is, is going to be out for a month or so and Jordan was ill. Um, and that's, you know, if you couple that with the injuries to Luke Kroll and Troy Archibald Hendrell and Tom McCready, it's just, I've never done anything like it. But we just said we have to score some goals, you know? And if they do score one, we'll have to go and score three. So maybe I'll say that every week. Yeah. Mansfield next up, it's been a long wait for that first home win. You were terribly unlucky last time with Watkins hitting the bar. We saw the, the Reuben Reed chance as well, which potentially could have been that winning goal. At some point, it's going to happen. Next week, it, it should happen. Well, we just. You can't count on anything, right? but it will, it'll come. It'll only come with performances and the players playing together, completely committed, completely behind each other, with a good support behind them. Just playing the next, the next ball, playing the next bit of play, and just keep playing. And I, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm positive about what will happen. And you can't promise anything. You can't promise the win next week or win the week after. You can just promise the players will do the best like they did today, and it'll come because I've never had a group of players so committed and receptive as this group never you know there, there's been no dissent there's been no been no ego there's been no there's been no that they said they're selfless and they're committed and they'll get they'll get there in the end yeah and just find the reception that you got the team got when from the from the fans at the end that was a, a, a you know really good to see that the togetherness it's you know something you needed a football club everyone to be on the same thing you you sort of you sort of you enjoy those moments you know I'm sure the supporters enjoy it, we enjoy it, and you have to work very, very hard to get, and you get nothing for nothing, and you have to earn it, and today we had something and we shared it with them, and they're, they're great moments, we, you, you really treasure those, sort of that feel, and you, you can't, you cannot, can explain how that feels at the end of a game, and everyone's just giving everything, it's a battle, and it's been, it's been three or four days of preparation, it's, it's been all consuming, and you get to the point, ten minutes to go, the game can go either way, and I, and I, I know how I felt three weeks ago at Carlisle and I know how I feel today and it's, you just cannot describe the, the, the difference in the two. Well done. Thanks.